Pit road is closed. All right, what's up, guys? Um, doing another race here, a little strength of field race. Um, kind of frantic qualifying, having issues with Twitch, or not Twitch, OBS working properly. So just put one lap in. It was a good lap, though. I'm happy with that eighth place. So let's see how it goes. Make sure we got enough fuel. We do. Put in the right fuel. I just really hope there's no stuttering once we, because I can't really tell right now because we're sitting still if the game's stuttering or not. But we'll be able to tell as soon as we start moving. It's not an internet provider. No, my internet's ridiculously good. It's not that kind of issue. It's an issue with two programs I think are fighting for the same CPU usage, which I have plenty of CPU space, but for whatever reason, it seems like they're just, it's like just trying to go into the same, I'm just making stuff up right now, going into the same port or something, and it's like just getting bottlenecked or something. Now everybody cross your fingers, that just works. Alright, this will be the moment of truth. Ooh, I don't know what that was. That's new. But it looks smooth. I have no idea what that whole everybody disappearing thing was, but that's completely new. That's not what I was talking about. That looks like we're good to go, boys. Alright. This is always interesting. I'm definitely going to update OBS, though. So I think that might be my problem. Double check your steering wheel, get a good look at your switches. Yeah, get ready to have go. a good race. Race smart. Pace cars off. Be ready. Yeah, that's Ugly ass start. Right side. Still there. Clear. Right side. Still there, door. You're clear. <laughs> so close. Oh, this right. racing's crazy right Clear. now, man. People are just right. driving like idiots. Still there, door. You're clear. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you trying? <laughs> oh my gosh! Get out of here, dude. Go there, awkward. This is crazy. I'm just trying not to get ran into you, trying not to run into anybody. Freaking wild right now. This dude can't figure out if he wants to Left stay side. insider. All clear. Left side. Clear, clear, clear. Oh man, can't believe we survived that lap. That was insanity. 36.94. Focusing on being smooth here. Get a nice rhythm. On your left. Still there. It was a very important pass because I have a lot more pace than he does. I really don't like Makel being behind me and then I can get caught up with these guys. That pass needed to happen. 
feel a lot better about my position now. I just, I really do not like that make old dude behind me. The guy's just got to screw loose. Yeah, as I said that, I think he just took somebody out. So, yeah, back to focus. They're focusing on being slow in, fast out. So you gotta know who you're driving around, because there's just some people you can't trust at all. And then there's other people you can give all the trust in the world to. Just gotta know who they are. Alright. Starting to make a little rhythm, getting away from the Ford. We'll catch these guys up here. Hopefully. So that's my plan. Ford can't get through that chicane for nothing. See, like, I know I can trust Angelo up there. He's, like, he's got a good head on his shoulders. That's another reason I'm doing so many races, is because I want to go do that uh, Darren's Pro Series, and I want to know who everybody is. So I've already learned a couple things about a couple drivers just this week. 26.54. A quarter second up on my best time right now. Forgot to check the weather, but I can tell it's uh, this is the hottest weather I've been in. No clear skies. Actually, it's partly cloudy. Definitely warmer weather. So to drive it in there a little hard just to make up some time on these guys up here because I know I'm good in the hairpins. It's one of my stronger suits this week. Which is funny because I'm not usually a hairpin kind of guy. A little bit better lap time than my best. Two tenths on my best lap, just through turn one. That's probably the smoothest I've gone through it all race, so that tells you something. Smooth is fast. Not overdriving is fast. Still up two tenths on my best. Just gained a good amount of time on him through there. If I had to guess, that Beamer's probably holding up the Ford and the Rough. Hopefully, we can get up there. soon enough and then just pass that beamer at the same time the uh, Angelo does. That would be ideal. Another best lap of the race. Yeah, that was a beautiful turn.
cool to see a Beamer running right this well, though. Good for Philip. Haven't seen a lot of Beamers running. What's up, dude? Oh, he had to get a black flag right there. I guess not, because he's trying to go for a pass. Oh, not unfortunately, I'm going to lose one spot. I thought I was going to lose two spots there for a second, but he'll position for the next hairpin. I can't see anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Up a tenth on my best lap right now. It's like this Ford's starting to drop off. Weird bounces, weird bounces. Ford's catching us from behind. Try and get the pass when um, Angelo gets the pass on the Ford. So that's an ideal situation.
She had messed with them because that was kind of weird just before that. I like Angelo too, it's too bad. It's funny because I've never talked to him. I just like him because part of our car communication when we race. Like, I can tell more about him by that than him talking. Interesting little dynamic our racing is, or racing in general. It's fast, Kevin is fast. I think we're might be catching that beam around now, so paying more attention to that. up on my best lap right now. I think we're definitely catching this beamer. Oh yeah, best lap. And we're, I think we're catching him. Not sure yet though. Gained on him two tenths on that. The beamer. from us attempt that lap. That's pretty thick. We all definitely have similar pace. Alright, another one down. We're going to go catch that beamer. Did lose a little bit of time there, but it's alright. Better than racking.
2.5 ahead of us. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna do the rest of that. I'm still too sick to race for three hours straight. Probably set me back another week on being sick. I wish you could make wing adjustments on the pits, because I'd definitely put one more click rear wing in it if I could. Looks like he pulled away from us a little bit that lap. Two tenths on the side lap. Basically, I think right now it seems like I have to run my best laps every lap to stay here with them. So they might have just a little bit more pace than me, so now I'm just really going to focus on taking care of the tires. Maybe get closer to them on the pit stop and race them for the end or something. Smoking me right now. Twenty six point eight five. He got me by a tenth that lap. That was a little more even that lap. 
Sounds like you had a fun race there, Sled. Yeah, he's just console here. I'm about to three tenths faster than me a lap, pretty much. This is what it is. gained on him this uh yeah, it's hard to tell. Let's right, we'll see what happens doing my lap here, pit, and we'll see what we end up. Hopefully it's right behind him. Hey baby, I know you don't want to hear it, but take your stuff all you can. that so far. Tenth off my personal best. See truth. All right, baby, that's a new leader. I just snuck in a leader lap. <laughs> come in, 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 come in. Made up some time. But. Let's see what we can do here. Gotta be careful because we've got cold tires. Colder. Mm 
made up about a second on that pit stop. Looks like we definitely caught the people in front of us a little bit more too. Don't really think we're contenders for that, but we're closer. That's a lap down car in there. Second Ford's a lap down car. Oh, broke way too soon. Probably lost three tenths right there. It's annoying. I can, but not in this weather. This weather I have to lift. I usually have to lift anyways towards the middle and end of a run. Not a qualifying lap, so you go through there flat out. Basically, if I keep running my best laps, I think I have a chance at just keeping pace with them. I hope you make some mistakes and I can catch them that way, because I don't think I can catch them at right pace, especially if I keep making stupid mistakes like that. Dude, you can't. Probably lost a couple tenses there. Last three tenths that lap, and I'm four tenths off my best, so that's what I'm saying. If I can just bring my best, I'll be able to. Uh, that was weird. Oh, glitch completely threw me off from the corner. I lost three tenths. single lap, even with my best lap right now. Now oh, that lap car is being a, yeah, please get out of it. I feel bad for the Beamer. Maybe he was trying to pull over and the Beamer pulled over at the same time. Just confusion. We're close enough to put some pressure on him now, though. I'm sure he's looking in his mirror a lot more. I'm just going to keep focusing on being smooth. I'm trying to keep this thing on rails. It's a little faster there, but it's alright, because it's still even with my best lap time, so that's all I really care about right now. Care less about incidents. Ah, oh, that was a terrible corner. We got a little draft from him here. Help us out just that little bit. better in him in the 
these hairpins too. At least there was that lap, I'm getting two tenths on the hairpins. Six minutes left. And I'm even with my best lap right now. Car's feeling pretty good, just as long as I don't overdrive it. Woo! Car worked with me there. Some of these guys are going to start to pit, so let's be aware. Oh, that's got to be a cut. Come on. Oh, we're getting there. Cut or no cut. We're making progress. Got that weird bounce on the inside. Still up on my best lap though. Pretty much even. Ooh, yeah, that car's starting to feel real good. Oh. Put that in there too deep though. That's gotta be a cut, come on. Pressure's on now, Philip. First time I've raced the Beamer all week. Get defense by him. I had to try it, see what would happen. We only got two laps left. I'm just freaking awkward everywhere. <coughs> that sucked. 
the late turn in just messed me up for that whole sequence of corners. Or early turn, ah, whatever. Wasn't good. But we're gonna be ready to pit here. Bring her on a pit this time, bring her on a pit this time. It's all or nothing now. I don't care if I get a black flag. It doesn't matter. Got to cut it as close as I can. is upon us. Well, this has been interesting. Left side, clear. Left side. Yeehaw! Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear, clear. Well, I'd say I excelled in the moment of truth. <laughs> Woo. That was fun. <coughs> I'll take a top five. Check your flag, man. Oof. That was crazy start and crazy finish to that race. For whatever it's worth, man, you did a fantastic job today, bud. Really did. You brought your work clothes, man, and you drove your ass off. I tried. <laughs> Good racing, Phil. <coughs> oh, jeez. I think I'm dying, guys. Yeah, we're gonna watch some replays. You best believe that. Thanks, Roberta. That was intense. Can't believe that all just happened in one lap. And then they both came out on track right on front of us, so I was hoping to follow uh, Philip, whichever line he took. I was just going to go right through him so we could get both positions, but they got back on track just in that amount of time to where. Yeah, Mark, my mistake. Even I catch the grass to try to avoid you, but uh, yeah, Mark, sorry. Oh, no, I want to go to the pits. <laughs> I'm done doing laps. Yeah, let's go this way. It's pretty cool. If they just got rid of that barrier, you could actually use that back entrance. <sighs> Thanks, Joe. Hand down. Oh, it's not the smoking slider. It's the uh, it's a cold I've had for the last <coughs> week. Alright. Let's watch the first lap of Utter Mayhem. Can you hear me, Mark? Mark.
See, I didn't realize I had Marco behind me, but I had to do that defensive line, but then it threw me off for the rest. I got caught behind the Ford here, and he got position. Somebody else gets by me, too. No, I cut. That was so close right there. I thought I was going to get rear-ended. I'm going to rear-end somebody all at the same time. Racing was so intense, a camera couldn't even handle it. And this was a tricky corner, too. I didn't realize it was Makel behind me. If I did, I'd probably be even more scared. And then he goes for his Makel signature dive bomb. Nice enough to not take me out. I wasn't sure what was going to happen right there. I thought the red one might rear in me. Oh, yeah. No, would be cool if we could see the, uh, if we could see the, uh, lab chart right now. Alright, let's go to the last lap. Let's go see what happened to these two first. Ooh, you got a good run on him right there. Oh, but he doesn't quite have the momentum, but he's going to stick it in there anyways. Yep, didn't have position. Hit the grass, took him out. That sucks for Marco. And whoa, hey -o. Actually, I think uh, Philip there helped me from... Uh, he just knocked that one dude out of the way. Marco. Unfortunately, it was Marco. Poor Marco. Gets hit twice on the last lap. He's just three positions. There's everything I could do not to run into the back of the Beamer. I don't even know how it, oh yeah, I let him have it, and I have a better entry, he, oh, he got hit, he hits the Ford. Then I just knew I had him here, because my car is so good in the hairpin, so I just let it track out, I wasn't even worried about giving him outside line. Maybe one more lap we could have had Dato. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the race, and I'll see you next time.